Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, is in the building. J Hill Podcast, special guest in the building. Listen, I love guests like this. CEO Trail, nigga. You already know Trail. Look, CEO Trail, big C4 in here. Uh, sure. Listen, man, this guy, I, I love when I get guests like this. I'm gonna tell you why. Because, like, I really, I really feel like I'm getting old, bro. I be in my own circle. But niggas be putting me on with niggas every day. I had to spend at least like two days, <laughs> at least two days just like doing research and the shit. And I'm like, oh, this shit, this nigga fire. It'll take you to it's like a rabbit hole. You you it's gonna you hole. gonna hate this though. You gonna hate this. I ain't gonna lie. The shit, the shit that I mind you, I don't know nothing. Right. I don't know nothing. The shit that I rocked with. Okay, cool. Was okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know you gonna hate. I'm but like, nah, that's the that's like a that's like a door opener. It's like that's the song. Okay. So that's the, I ain't I ain't. It's not that I don't dislike it. It's just like I just feel like. I got way better songs. Okay. But the song is there, and now at this point in my life, it's played a role as a, as a door You got to embrace it. You got to embrace it. For sure. So it's like, as soon as you hear that, it's like an undeniable song. That as soon as you hear it, you, you either going to be like, oh, shit, I like this shit, or you're going to be like, what the fuck he saying? Either way it go, you still going to listen to it more than once, and then you're going to go look at other shit I'm doing. So when you go see the more serious shit, it's like you could, you could choose to stay with OK Cool, or you can deep... Dig deep into the most serious shit, and that's what they usually do. So Damn. it's cool. You know what's crazy? Cause you made a great point. And just let you know, I always do this disclaimer. We amongst it's safe space. We both men. We amongst For men. Sure. If I say anything wild, wow, you can correct me. For I ain't sure. about to feel no way. We men. Oh, we, you know I'm just letting you know. Cause I make it. You know what I'm saying? Just let you know. We safe space. So like, my man put me on with this shit a minute ago. Shout out to my brother, Morning Athen. That's my guy. So he put me on with it, right? And I'm like, the fuck is this? Like, so it's crazy you say that. Now nah, niggas do that, but it's... but niggas do that. Like, listen, I be watching reactions and shit. So when I click on a reaction, the first thing a nigga do, like, he'll say my name wrong, all kind of shit, man. Let me see what this fuck this nigga talking about. Yeah, somebody sent him. Uh-huh. Man, I'm about to check this nigga out. He look bogus. Da da da. He already got them. Making little comments about shit in the background and how the video you're starting, it's just on a picture. Mm-hmm. But then by the end of it, he like, oh shit, this nigga going crazy. You just got a fan. Though. So it just, it's just how it is. You just, I, and I ain't really too much focused on like, I already know that when, if you was to send my music to somebody, the first look they're going to say is like, who the fuck is you. this? Yeah. You feel me? Because it's like, I'm the type of nigga that don't really even care about what you see when you look at me. I want you to hear this shit. What I'm saying in my mouth. So it's like, I come outside regular and I won't even tell nobody I rap. They'll come up on me like, boy, I just heard that song. Or niggas be like, you rap? I be like, sometimes. Yeah. Or some shit like that. But I want you to hear what I'm saying. So it's like, if, of course you're going to judge it out of perception. But I love that even more because it's like, if you if you judge it and you want some shit like, that's like me turning a, 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 a lesbian Back straight. I, nah, facts. That, that's crazy. That's a great, that's a great, uh, <laughs> that's a great analogy because it's crazy. Like, I'll be telling my man <laughs> all the time. I'll be like, my favorite artist be the artist that I didn't originally like. For sure. That that's showed me that's that, how I be like. That shit. I be not listening to some shit because I hear I feel like everybody listening to it or mm-hmm. everybody on it or I see everybody posting it as a caption or some shit. And now I won't even listen to it because I'm like, man, these niggas doing too much. Facts. But then when I finally listen to it, I'm like, okay, I see why they was doing that. And yeah. now I'm listening to it months later, mm-hmm. three, four, five times of shit. Man, I know how it is because I'm a hard music critic. So it's like, I try to go as crazy as I go because I know I'm hard on music. Like mm-hmm. I don't fuck with niggas' music. Like, nah, I feel you. It yeah, did, yeah. It makes it's, it's worse because like I probably I feel like you probably could relate to this. Like niggas is in the industry, but like most of our lives, well, nah, nah. You you been you been rapping for a minute. Like I've been rapping like my 15, whole life. Yeah, like you been yeah. rapping for a minute. Yeah. So probably not true. Like I feel like me sometimes I gotta remind myself I'm in the industry because like I'm not used to. How niggas act. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, wait, nah, I forgot I'm here. Nigga, I done, I just like literally, probably like just now getting to the point where I'm understanding how niggas in the okay. industry move around and okay. shit. Like, I always been the type of nigga that never made music for. You said that. It was before your you homies. You feel me? For Maybe sure. Like, I'm making music for us until I felt like it was good enough for me to put out because I already knew how niggas was. I know niggas gonna. Try to do this or do that, yeah. or you don't sound like this, or you sound like this nigga, or da da da, you copying, whatever, whatever. But it's like, once some niggas, the niggas I used to be with, finally convinced me to just like put it out, it was just like, shit, okay, that's what I'm doing. But I was just more focused on the money, anyways. I wasn't ever really focused on getting big. I was already paying bills with the little couple thousand they was giving me every okay. month with the royalty. So I never really 
was focused on, I was just focused on dropping a thousand songs. Okay. Because if you got a thousand songs, you gonna get some kind of money on this fucking shit at the end of the month, you feel me? But it's like, then when I dropped that one song, it's like, shit just went crazy, so. But shit was already kind of going crazy on an underground tip before then. It's just the song, okay, cool, kind of put me in a major yeah. space. Yeah, like yeah. It made more major people start looking at me like, more of the biggest artists in the world started tapping in and shit like that. So it's like, I just not got getting, I'm just getting accustomed to this shit. This shit still gave me. Bro, it's crazy because we were talking about coming up here, like, this coming up, how niggas stop you, t- want to take pictures. And you got to adjust because it's like, damn, bro, like, I remember when we used to pray for this. I'm, I'm assuming, I could, I feel like you can relate. Pray for <laughs> it. We used to be like, man, come on. Pray God. for it. Look pray for shit. pictures. Now niggas walk up on me for pictures. I'm looking crazy. Like, man, what the hell? But you gotta oh, remind shit. yourself. You I got, forgot. You gotta remind I'm trail. yourself. Yeah, you gotta remind yourself. You know what? Like, nah, I asked for this. I'm trail, man. Damn, it's I crazy, man. That shit. How, how how is it, bro? Like, how, how are you enjoying the fruits of your labor? I'm for sure enjoying it because it's like I feel I feel like I know I worked hard for it. Everybody around me know I worked hard for it. So it's like, it's just good to know, like, you know, you you know, when you doing shit like this, like, what you do, what I do, what anybody in this room be doing, like, you basically walking outside every day on, a, on the strength and the mm-hmm. prayer, like, well, I got to make some money before I come back home. I got to make this shit what it mm-hmm. is. But to the truth and the matter, like, a lot of people don't believe in that shit. The closest family members, your bitch, whoever, like, a lot of people is not believing in that shit, bro. It's like, we gonna support you because you are who you are to me, mm-hmm. but, man, this shit really ain't, it don't look like it's gonna do what it's gonna do, so it just feel good to know that it's just like, nigga, I stuck it out, and even whoever didn't believe, it's like, they believing in this shit now. It's like, Family I ain't talked to in years that that didn't think it was gonna be this. That thought I was gonna be locked up or some shit like that or whatever. They know what it is now, and now they, you know, like one of kind of shows and shit like that. Like I don't, you bro. Me? Kyron, right? Shout out to my guy that's doing the audio, right? Kyron, I feel like I've been trying to have this conversation with niggas for so long, right? And niggas is just some niggas be niggas like, behind from yeah. Bro. Niggas you know ain't gonna want to sit and say like, bro. The closest people be hating. It's like it's not. It's like, it's hate, but it's like, they can't help it. Mm. Like, they can't help it. A lot of people's vision ain't big enough. A lot of people never seen these amounts of money that you'll start walking in from this shit. So it's like, they can't help but to feel like, what the fuck is going on? And not even hate, right? Let's talk since we're going to talk, right? A lot of people, like you said, niggas want to support you from a distance or like support you with... With some type of stipulation. Right. So it's like, yeah, you know, like, I'm going to support you, but they ain't really going to give me the 100% support. Like, nah. Sure. At this point, it's like, bro, if you're not going to support me 100%, get the fuck from around right But it's night. not even that, bro. I realize Talk it's not me. even that. The, what it is is really is like they don't believe in it. You feel me? So it's like a nigga would support you 100% if they believed in mm, it. Like, you can see once you start making money, once, it, cause niggas once, be like, once once other people support me, then the people around me start supporting me more. Or facts. once 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 you see them doing it, then you do it. But it's like, it's not that, bro. It's the fact of, they don't want to be there when you fail because they'll feel like they failed too. Even mm. though we fail every day, we probably get one win out the day, but we fail 40 times before we catch that oh win. Oh my God. And just in one day, a lot of people can't take failure like that, bro. So it's, it's, just, it's gonna fuck them up. It's gospel. Yo, Yo uh, she downstairs. Thank you. It's gospel. It's crazy because, like, I was talking about how, like, people, when you plant that seed, you putting that seed in the soil, you went in the dirt, nobody even believed you was going on, right? Nobody believed what was going on. It's like, bro, like, I holler at you when I'm flipping. But as soon as that tree, as soon as that seed start to grow into a big ass tree, now everybody want to stand under it for some shade. Nah, get the fuck from around. Like, niggas are like, that shit, don't be finicky That's how with it be, me. You know what bro, saying? But it's like, it can't, it can't, you can't even feel a way towards them niggas. It's just like, you it's know you it is. it is what yeah. it is, bro. It's like it, but it's like even with like you can feel that way with friends, it's easy to say fuck a nigga like a nigga mm. that you know felt like that. But what about the family members that do oh, it? Oh yeah, for sure. What about the ones closer to you that you love so much that you feel bullshit coming from, but you just can't even tell them mm. like, man, this bullshit, I just gotta show this person. Like, I gotta show my cousin that this shit gonna work. I gotta show my sister that this shit gonna work. But I gotta show my mama that this shit gonna work. She don't even really think she want me to go get a job. She don't think this shit gonna work. She's seeing niggas go outside every day, bro. It's only a 10%, 15% of people that make it, really. You know what we say, we know what we say to the niggas that's that's halfway in the, on the fence? Okay, okay, cool. For sure. <laughs> okay, cool. For sure. <laughs> is, is okay, it, cool. You how long, how far, how long ago you made this song? 
I made okay, cool, probably like I had to be like two years, three. If it's on if it's been on plat if it's been on platforms for two years, then I probably made like two years and six, seven months. Ain't this crazy? I told myself I did not want to talk about this shit this much because we gonna we, we gonna get past this because <laughs> every time you talk, bro, niggas respectfully, it's just nah, for sure, it's we cool. ain't about to spend that time because mm-hmm. is we we passed that now. But anyway, I say that to say, ain't this crazy how shit hit, like hit full circle, right? Like you was talking about this shit two and a half years ago, and it's still like, man, look. But that's I say it's that's that's a that's a. I get tired of talking about the same shit, but I just realize it's a blessing, bro. Because mm. like a lot of people have a viral moment, you feel me? So it's like either you 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 making it or you having a viral moment, and it's a difference. And mm. a lot of people don't realize, like nigga, you can go viral and be hot for today, but then That's tomorrow simple. people forget about you. Niggas been talking about me for the longest time, like you feel me? And I still, it's just like I feel like it's time for me to jump to the next plateau. So that's what I'm. That's why I'm dropping on Halloween. I wanted uh, okay. Happy Halloween five. Five. Dropping Halloween. Halloween day. I wanted to talk to you about. You've been doing this for what, like 13, 15 years. Well, half my life. Half your life. Bro. Half my life. Doing this for doing this for half your life, right? You just started to get like, let's say, air quotes for like a better word, it's real motion. Doing it for so long, and you still you still working to get to another level, right? Like for you sure. say, I'm still trying to. Trying to get to that next level. How talk to me about those those moments when you get just frustrated, like man, what the fuck? I'm tired of this shit. You still get those or no? Hey, yeah, I still get those, man. I get them. <laughs> I get that shit every day. Like mm. that shit is some shit that happen every day. Like every day, it's some frustrating ass shit going on to where a motherfucker really just like, cause like you said, bro, it's an industry, so it's like this shit will really be this shit really be fake like that. Mm, and people be around you because they know like you're hot, and this is what this is gonna make them look good as well. And you'll come into this shit being as genuine as you can, mm. but they not genuine like that. So it just don't it just don't play right. And then not only that, it could be communication issues because now as opposed to me and you just coming in here talking and you handing me a paper and saying, "Hey, bro, this shit for this." I need, I'm explaining this to you, is go like this. We got lawyers and managers in the middle of it, so okay. we can tell our managers some shit, and the manager tell the lawyers some shit, and the the messages get misconstrued all yeah. the way along, and, and you know, it's just, it's just all kind of little, small, nitpicky shit. That shit happen every day, and me, I'm still fresh out of the block, so I get pissed off. I be ready to fight, all kind of shit. Like, man, so it's just... <laughs> this Wait, when's your birthday, bro? January 1st. Damn, bro, it's, 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 I ask that because it's like the nigga sell just like me. I'm like, that's, I'll be on the same time. It's like, bro, I just want to handle, I was talking to, uh, I'm about to sign this management deal, whatever, we uh, working on some things. And I was just telling him like, bro, I just want something that's fair for both of us. You right. feel me? Like, we only got to do all this. It's something that's fair for both of us. But it's like, a lot of people feel like what's, like, a lot of people living above they shit. So mm. they don't even know what's fair for them. They just seeing what another motherfucking getting and be like, okay, this the new standard. Mm. We gonna make, managers usually get 10%, but we making 20% the new standard mm-hmm. because I done been around this person or I done been around that person. Like, niggas living above they shit, bro. And then so. they get fucked up when when we talking about this business, right? Because everybody want to, they, they, they making sure it's in the best interest of them. Right, but sure. it's like, yo, what, what happened to like just morals and? That's what I say that you, shit. Like, what happened every to morals? Day, like, yo, let's do the best for both of us. You feel it's me? like, like me in the and, but it's like, bro. At the same time, you gotta realize this: the best for both of us is what's the bottom line. But you, the artist, so it's like, and 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 this little whole little entity of what's going on around this artist, everything should revolve around this artist, mm. as long as as it is with with a manager, yeah, yeah, um. Your producers, your your shit like that. Like, if it's a team, how it's supposed to be. Like, this I'm the artist. You my producer. This my cameraman. This my manager. This my lawyer. This my booking agent. And and we knowing that we coming in to build this. Niggas will go outside and find somebody doing the same shit and want to go build that shit too, mm. at the same time, and then give you ten percent, but give them. 90% mm. because they might have a little bit more going on. Yeah. They might be doing a little bit more of this. Like, you feel me? So it's like, 
It's a lot of niggas that be on dick. It's the best it's interest weird. type shit. Niggas on dick, they don't <laughs> like want to... They, they out... They look, everybody more so looking out for self nowadays. So it's like, I'm going to latch on to this nigga because he hot and I know I can get 10% when they book him. So mm. that's what that's why I'm here. Like, that's what it be. Niggas, niggas don't be here. And that's, that's why I be doing shit. Like, that's why it looks like it's taking me a minute to get to the next level where I want to go because I do... We... Nigga, it's just us. Like mm. we do everything my, ourselves. Like I call, I sit with my cousin and talk about this shit all day. Call my brother, we talk about this shit all day on the phone. Then we make moves on it. It ain't nobody telling me what to do, how to do it, how to go about it. Like you feel me, shit like that. Like I might get a little game from niggas every now and then, but as a as opposed to doing this shit, it's just me waking up every day saying, "Oh, I feel like I should drop this song. Oh, I feel like I should do this. Oh, maybe this will look good." Cousin to walk in the room and be like, shit, cuz, you probably need to try to do this or this. Mm -hmm. This should have looked good, too. But it's like, bro, ain't no blueprint, no nothing, showing nothing. And it's like, niggas coming around just to come around thinking the shit be already created and try to get a piece of what's already created. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, you got to build. And it's like, a nigga don't want to, niggas be coming in acting like, Oh, I don't want to do this much because it feel like I'm dick riding. Or I don't want to do this because it feel like I'm doing... Or like Just like you said, we grown men. You don't got to pour a shot for me. But it's like, the fact that you offering to pour the shot mm. is still... It's it cool. Says a lot, yeah, it says but, a lot about who you are, though. Uh, come on, a lot bro. Of men, a lot of men think it's above them, right? A lot of men's like... A lot of niggas like... I was just talking to nigga Tess. And he was like, bro, it's crazy because... Well, not even Tess. I was talking to uh, the girls from Poor Mind, Lex P and Dre, right? We saying... They tell me they want to mess with bosses. And I'm like... What the fuck is that? Like, why do you just want to mess with boss? She's like, nah. A boss is a nigga that understand that he's so valuable that he can take a step back. Right? So I was talking to Tess, and he's like, bro, I still carry nigga bags. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, bro, I'm here for... Like, if, Man, if I'm... listen, bro. And that's some boss shit, though. I really be... I really a go in the mall with my baby cousin and buy shit. Mm. My cousin to grab my bags. Mm. It's not because... He lesser than me or nothing like that. It's my cousin. Nigga, we walking with bags. Like, it ain't got to make it seem like anything his or... It don't matter if I bought everything for me. It don't matter if he didn't buy nothing. He's still going to pick up my bags. Like, mm. nigga, at the end of the day, like, we doing this shit for each other. So it's exactly. like, he not going to let me walk with five bags just because I didn't buy him nothing or he didn't buy nothing. Like... Shit like that, what niggas be doing, bro? What happens to just, those type of guys? They not out no more, bro. Like, I Everybody like, changed like, the standards of everything. Damn. The standards of everything has changed, bro. The standards of being real has changed. The standards of being a boss has changed. The standards of being a bad bitch has changed. Everything is all fucked up and flipped around. So it's like, it's niggas out here really feeling like the way they feel, the fuck nigga ways, is really right. And that's why we got to be careful with these platforms, though, because... It's a gift and a curse with this For shit. Sure. Right? So it's like, yeah, we get to see so many more people, but guess what? So many more fucked up individuals get to have the For same sure, platform man. to get Come the. On, man. And it's some niggas that believe that shit, or some niggas that's just so ignorant that they don't understand what's right from wrong. So they hear Come somebody on. that sound good, so they think that's right. And it's like, nah, these niggas be talking about some fucked up and shit. And they see a nigga with some money saying this shit, niggas jump on dick. <sighs> and they man got $100,000 telling me I should go fuck everybody if they ain't got it like me. What? <laughs> What you mean? Niggas is crazy. Money done change the standards. Money done change. Oh my god. That's, that's what it is. Money crazy. done change shit. Like money gonna shit. make money make the snitch look like he ain't snitch. Money make the fuck nigga look like he cool. I mean, money make the fuck nigga look like he a real nigga. Mm. Money make the lame nigga look like he cool. Like it's mm. just what money make the shrimp is fucking nigga in a bunch. That been getting slapped around all his fucking life feel like, like he's whale. sending blitzes and shit now because he got some money. <laughs> like, it's just that, bro. It's that. The shit fucked up. Yo, we're going to keep throwing... Listen, this is one thing about, like... So we, we get here, we talk shit, we get here. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, we don't really talk too much about the music because, like, we get so mm -hmm. deep into, like, what's really going on. So we're going to say this a few times. Happy Halloween 5 dropping... Halloween. Uh, yeah, it's going to be billboards and shit around Atlanta. We gonna, we gonna they say? got shit posted in Mechanicsville already. We're going to just keep saying it like like, yeah. like promo every, you know every so five. It's going. It's going. That so, shit yo, coming regardless. I, you say you're doing it by yourself, right? But we can't ignore the ties that you... Can we even talk about, like... You tie, For what, sure. You, you tie, ties with YSL. For sure. Right, so... can it? You can't... I can't ignore it. Like, you can't... Listen. I... Out of every artist I ever met, 
them they've been the most genuine. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it's like you can't ignore what they've done for me, and if you look, if you know what's been done, mm-hmm. you feel me. But as opposed to, like I said, I've been doing everything myself. Like even when I was with them, I dropped Happy Halloween Four. Like Slime was slick blue with me because he like, man, we had family discussions before we dropped that music, but I didn't know. Like you feel me? But he pulled me to the side like. So when we we talk like as a family before we before anybody drop like mm. next time you drop just come let me know we gonna okay. work it out together type okay shit. okay like that type shit so it's like it ain't just a nigga around trying to get a dollar off a nigga or some shit like that it just it felt like family so that's what it is they them, them niggas brought me to a, a bigger space bigger platform put me on my first jet everything put me put me in front of a, a lot of shit for the first time that I ever seen freedom so far as. Uh, of course, free wide so so as far far as um you doing it by yourself though, was it that you skipped those conversations of like, yo, we need some help on the business side? Did you or did you miss that or it was it wasn't never that. It was just more so like I've been stuck in the same way for so long doing it by myself. It's like You're used to it. If if you if you if we both doing the same thing, we gonna chop it up about what we doing, but it's like we really don't got time. We so tunnel vision and used to having to handle everything on our own. So we're it's not that we don't want to, it's we don't know how to ask. Mm-hmm. We don't know how to walk up on a nigga and be like, damn, bro, how you do this? Or what you think about that? Or what you think about that? You feel me? So mm-hmm. it's just like it was just it's just that. Like the business. But they they helped me with the business. Like they was telling me what to do when it came down to the business. They taught me about taxes and all that shit like that. Like Gunner and Thug really taught me a lot, bro. Like for real, just so that whole situation kind of did it. Did it slow up what you had going on? Because it was like that. Was, your shit was going uphill, and then they get booked. Nah, not really. It's like because at the same time, I've always been my own entity, even though I was with them. So mm-hmm. it's like when I when 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 I got with them, my shit jumped up some more. Okay. When they got locked up, my shit jumped up some more because it's like. You the last one of you feel me? You yeah. one of the last that's still here that was with them before that was really with them before they left. So it's like we want to see is you gonna hold it down for the family? So it's like for, for shit show I'm gonna hold it down for the family mm. like for sure. Freedom is that, do that. Is, is that just just honestly right? Like when you go in the house, is that kind of like scary? It's like man, I'm gonna hold it down, but like at any given time, this shit could come down on me because like they try to get the whole camp out here. Explain that to me. It's not that, bro. It's like. The way shit looking is like, it's like, they coming home. Mm. All that shit is some bullshit that just misconstrued. So it's like, at I came around at a point where I I didn't never I never see none of that. Okay. So it's like, it, it if the, the shit that they accusing them of, I, I ain't saying. ever see. So it's like, when we was, we making music, we on jets and you know, having fun at parties and shit. I ain't ever see nobody do no, you feel me? We a family. We ain't ever run into no problems to even have to do shit like that. So mm-hmm. it's like, I ain't ever see that shit. So when I came, it was at a it was at a pivotal point as, as opposed to the shit was already in the works. I get what you're saying. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And that's just how it happened. It's just like... It's well, that, just, I mean, it's still... I get it, right? But it still could be scary, though, because it's like, bro, it's kind of like... Hypothetically, right? I hope it's not a terrible analogy, but like Kanye West, right? He say some shit, then everybody they just cut ties with him. Right. So kind of saying, well, why so? They associate why so with X, Y, and Z. So because people don't want to be associated with X, Y, and Z, they cut ties with why so. I'm trying to figure out, did you ever think like, man, this shit could really blow Fuck back on no. me? Hell no. Nah. No, you cut ties with me. You cut ties with why so. You cut ties with me. It's fuck you. We gonna. I've been doing it by myself. Mm. You cut ties with the family. You cut ties with me. I'm just gonna have to go around you. It is what it is. Like. It ain't nobody that's going to be able to tell me, like, oh, yeah, you got to stop saying free them in order for me to fuck with you, or you got to not be around, or you got got to block them. Uh, man, fuck out of here. Like, mm. man, hell no. Nah. We not yeah. doing no shit like that. Nah. We just going to have to go around you. It is what it is. We going to go over you. It is what it is. You getting stepped on. You can't. We just can't do that. We man. can't do that. So are you looking for, like, any management to help the business go Go yeah, hey, yeah, I'm I'm looking for managers, but it's like at the same time it revert back to niggas doing it out for themselves. And I really wish it was. I really love how shit is going. The fact that I'm going up, how I'm going up, but I really wish it was at a point to where it's like it wasn't, so I could find somebody genuine enough to just lock in with. Because people just people look at the Instagram and see money, and of course they want to be my manager. Of right. course I know this person and this person and that person. 
of course we can do this, that, and third, but is it going to be genuine? Like, is it really going to be what looking out for your, my uh, best interest? The guy, uh, that guy, you still here? You still around? Yeah, man, he was, he was with you with the, uh, the, um, off the porch shit. Oh, no. Nah. A lot of people ain't around. There's a lot of people ain't around. That was your man. But yeah, for sure. I had a lot of, man, I got family that's not around. Wait, nah, wait, wait. Because you, the way you talk, like. Man, I got family that's not around, bro. It just happens like that. That's just the way shit go. Like, sometimes the communication be fucked up. It's disagreements that go further than what they should go. It's like, you got to draw the line somewhere. It's just how that shit be. Damn. I ain't going to lie to you. How do you? Sheesh. I would assume, like, that was, like, almost like your brother, like, best friends. How do you even... Where's the motivation to get close to anybody else, honestly? It ain't none. It ain't none. Like, <laughs> nigga, I don't even really want to... Nigga, it's me and my cousin. I ain't on... Man, it ain't no motivation to, to, to get close to nobody else because the people that I was close to, I feel like it could have been something done, but... Nobody wanted to do nothing about it. You mm. feel me? So it's like when it get and then when it when it time to me like feeling like it's things that should be done that people aren't doing, but I'm handling my end. You feel me? And I got I got a son, bro. Mm. Like I got a child. Look just like me. Look right up to me. Like he not gonna see no. He don't see no other grown man as nothing. I'm Superman to him, like I'm Batman or Spider Man. I'm all that to him. So once it get to once it get to, I gotta compromise my child for certain shit. I can't do that. Like I can't do that. If my child, it, I can't compromise him being happy for nothing. Mm. That's just what it is. I remember at that point of time you was still like on go mode, like just trying to be outside and shit, like. Have you sure. have you grown past that yet? I, I was looking forward to this conversation because I'm like, I think it's going to be a different trail. Yeah, yeah. I've grown past being outside. I don't even really be outside. Or just being on go. Because at first you was like, man, look, nigga, like, you was on go. It's still that way. Like, I got to stay that way. But not really because you got a son, like you said. But it's like, my son is going to know the difference between a stupid decision and... Values, morals, and integrity. Standing on what you stand on as a man, mm. as a grown man, I'm still a man. Of course. So if I walk out this building and a nigga slap me, I'ma slap the shit out of his ass back. Okay. You feel me? Okay. We ain't doing none of that For just because sure. my son. But it's like at the end of the day, if I can see some shit and I can pinpoint some shit, like okay, I feel like this gonna fuck up later on, or in three months this gonna be this, or I feel like this gonna happen, or something like that. Like then I gotta remove myself because it's more important shit to me. Mm. It might not be important to nobody else. That's that important. Shit important to me. That's important. So, you know? Let's talk about that. That in, that that invisible line of What's where up? we draw, like, of, of man time and, like, just being s smart, I guess. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like it was a point in time where, pretty sure both of us can relate to this, like, coming up from the trenches and shit like that, we would think anything was disrespecting our character as a man. Where do we draw that line now? Like, like you said, if a nigga put his hands on you, that's different. But is it still, if a nigga disrespects you verbally, do we walk, is that the invisible line? Like, where do we draw that line now? It depends on the circumstances. Like, everything is circumstantial. Everything is circumstantial. Mm -hmm. You can, you can, you can, everything is circumstantial, bro. Like, just, I just, I can't tell nobody where to draw the line, but it's like, I don't even know where to draw the line sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like I snap about small shit. Sometimes I let, you know, little shit play out. Like, sometimes it just, you know, like, everything's circumstantial, bro. But I feel like shit, if you stand on what you stand on and you and you believe in certain things, then when shit come your way, you'll know how to handle it. Mm. But can you, at least we can acknowledge that, like, those, sometimes they say some mistakes is too costly to make. We can't be snapping on everything now because you right. want to, like, you're not, you're yeah. not trail, for, like, for sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, you can't, you can't be snapping on everything, but it's like, when you get into when you get to a certain point in life, it's like certain people push buttons just to see what you'll do. So with certain people, you got to know how to react with certain people. Mm. Certain people only want certain things. Certain motherfuckers might say some bullshit on your Instagram just so you can respond back to them. A motherfucker come on your Instagram and call you a ugly, dirty bitch 
And then you come back to him and be like, nigga, fuck you, lame-ass nigga. And they'll come in your DM and be like, damn, bro, you really responded to me. Damn, how's it going? I just wanted to see if you respond. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah. it's like, you just got to know, like, with certain shit, just how to maneuver through certain shit. It's just, it's hard, but it's easy at a certain point. Like, it just get to that, it just get to the point where it's easier. Okay, I understand. So now, your pops, how was your, your son? He five. He was sick today, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, for I, I, I was, I didn't think he was gonna come. Nah, I'm coming. So that was that was. Some I good. had this was some some pre set up shit, and he well taken care of, so we cool. We handled business. That's some real nigga shit. A lot for of people, sure. I think it's like I said, bro. What, like we lost the land of the real niggas, bro. Like niggas don't they don't stand on that word no more. Shit backwards, like, man. Niggas is crazy. How was fatherhood for you, man? The best thing that ever happened to me. Why so? Um. Shit, just like everything we talking about, bro. I just, I was in jail when my son was born, so it's like it hit different when you, when you, when you doing everything for that, mm. and then you're not there for it. Mm. So it's it, it just hit me different than it hit a lot of niggas, and I always knew like shit, I was gonna take care of whatever I had going on, like whether it's whatever. If I attach myself to you, I'm taking care of it, like. Whether we friends, whether whatever, like it don't really matter. Did that help change your perspective of like just the street living versus like straightening yourself out? I guess talking about that invisible. Not line change my perspective. It just let me know that a lot of places ain't worth me going no more. Mm. A lot of shit ain't worth me doing no more. Like you feel me? Like like niggas be running around talking about they bored and shit like that. But it's like. My mom used to tell me, if you bored, read a book. Mm. But now I just, like, if I'm bored, I just do some work. Like, something that got to do with this music shit. Like, yeah, I used to get bored and go sit out on the block all day. Now when I'm bored, I just got down, I book a studio or some shit. Or I try to, something, anything. I make a plan, I'm in that bitch making plans, I'm in that bitch. Whatever, something, anything that got to do with CEO trail, not trail, you mm. feel me? Anything that got to do with CEO trail, I get to start doing that. It just. Do you think? Do you think that mindset is is being portrayed to your audience, to your fans? Because like yeah, it was hey, a time. Yeah. I, I asked that because it was a time. Like, I remember you was on Adam Twenty Two. You was like, <laughs> you was like, my man's like, they be helping me like stay away from the bullshit. But I'm still on that. He's like, so like you still ain't like my, you see they ain't around here. You they ain't right. right here now. So <laughs> clearly you're more that. Right. But I feel like this conversation it just shows so much growth. Like yeah, you hey, can yeah. you can. It's kind of like night and day. Yeah, for sure. Do you ever look back and say, man, I was on some bullshit? Uh, nah. No? You feel like you had to be on that? I feel like not saying I had to be on that, because, of course, you have to be on that. Like, mm. whether you're a regular pedestrian, whether you're a civilian, whoever, you got to be always on point. Mm. But I play defense. You ain't going to catch me outside on no shit that I caused. Mm. So if if it's some shit that's going on, most likely I'm just defending myself, protecting myself. You see, nigga banged on the door, and I got got ready, mm -hmm. cause who banging on the door? You feel me? But I ain't walking around with my shit out, looking for anything to get into. Like most people won't even know I got something on me until it's time for it to be shown. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> just how it is. Most people won't even know. No facts, bro. Like, are you at least enjoy? I know the industry could be bullshit. Are you enjoying this shit? Though? Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Like I work for it. It's just, it's just the shit that, bro. I said I'm taking whatever come with this shit. Just, just nigga, whatever come with this shit. That's what I signed up for. I can't. I be saying I can't do nothing else. Like, mm. I didn't finish school. I got a GED. Mm. Like, nigga, I ain't. It's a lot of shit that's. If I just wake up and be like, fuck rap. I don't want to rap tomorrow. It's a lot of shit that I can't do. You feel me? So it's like, it's a lot of shit that I can do. It's a lot of shit that I can work towards doing. Mm -hmm. That that shit gonna take. I'm already here. What the fuck? I'm gonna stop making money right here to goddamn. I fuck with learn you. how to make some money somewhere else. You gave some game, and um, I feel like a lot of artists don't even think about that. You like, bro, if I do a thousand songs a month, yeah, I'm, yeah. I got, I'm destined to make some type of money. So like, I think that's, that's some real shit. Do you think? I feel like that's a a cloth off a of, uh, thug. Thugs say just make just make the music, just drop the music, and something gonna hit. Um, I always felt like that, but one thing he did teach me about the music is going back in when he was making punk, mm. he went back in on dropping jewels. 
Mm. So it's like me watching him do that, it just opened my eyes to like, you don't got to make songs and then just feel like you're done with them when you, the first time. Mm. You can go back in and do extra shit. So that's what I did on Happy Halloween 5, dropping on 1031. Halloween, you feel me? We're going to keep doing that drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. I, I think I, uh, I was watching a Casanova interview and he was saying like Thug was one of the, probably one of the most, like him and Chris Brown was probably one of the most sure dopest Brown. artists to watch create for music. For sure, Chris Brown. <laughs> like, for sure, Chris Brown. Chris Brown creating is different. What, you seen, you, you've you been around yeah, while he was yeah. creating music? Man, my first time ever meeting Chris Brown, I met him at Metro Studio. And I'm standing, because I feel like I'm regular. I'm standing there by the DJ booth. And I say, damn, that's Chris Brown right there. And it's like, he heard me, but he was far as hell away from me. And he just looked at me and was like, oh, shit, Trail, what's up? Sheesh. Came over, dap me up, show love, and then told the DJ to fucking put the song on. Okay, cool. And he motherfucker did a routine to that motherfucker the whole time. Sheesh. Everybody in the studio hyping him up. Nigga, I'm in that bitch starstruck. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, I don't even know what's happening right now, but that shit was crazy. But That's yeah, Chris Brown, that nigga is a creative genius, because just like how we, we do that shit we do, but in one tone of voice or probably a couple others, nigga. Thug. Yeah, I'm say nigga say thug is like that. Like thug is a that shit is crucial. That shit is crazy. Speaking crucial. since we on the music right wave, I feel like you're in one of the most unique spaces. That's being from the Bronx, the mecca of hip hop, <laughs> right? But a lot of people don't say that when you when you say that nah, too. You know I mean? So it's just like I'm glad you put that respect nah, nah. on that. You gotta put that respect. Niggas on the car to X dirty and shit like that. It's all good. We still created this shit. <laughs> so like you you from the Bronx, right? But you. You grew up well. You was born in the Bronx, but you kind of grew. You kind of from Atlanta now. Definitely. So you from Atlanta? Definitely. It's like the new hip hop era, right? But like for so long, I feel like you could probably understand this. For so long, New York kind of shunned everybody else but sure. but New York, right? Like for sure. down south, no, no love. Sure. West Coast, no love. I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit. I didn't start listening to New York music until I got down south. Why is that? It's just weird. It's just like, as I got older, I was like, I wanted to hear, like, I just wanted to know what it or what it was like back then. And then I had a younger cousin. He came to live with me a couple years, probably like eight, nine years ago. And all he would listen to is 80s and 90s rap, mm -hmm. boom bap rap from New York. That's all he listened to. Like, that's all the fuck he listened to. When So when niggas was listening to Chief Keef at his peak, he's playing fucking um, jazz o and and shit like that. So it's like when I started hearing them beats, I used to want to rap to them. They was hard to me, and then I just started listening to the songs. Like I ain't never listened to Jay Z when I was in New York like that. My mom, all my family used to be crazy fans of Jay Z. Dropped a black album and the Blueprint and all that shit. I used to be looking at their ass like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Sheesh. So let me ask you this, but I, I think I kind of think that inf you kind of can I tell me. I still got the influence. influence. You still, it's still there for sure. It's, most definitely still there. My favorite rapper was 50 Cent. Yeah, for it's sure. It's definitely, definitely still there. So it's like, it's definitely there. Give Richard Dodd Trump best course. album probably all time. Of all time. Gotta but be. I, I, ain't, I ain't really, like, I only listened to 50 Cent, mm. Dipset, Max B, shit like that. Hey, I Max wasn't was really listening. God, that yeah, was... for sure. I wasn't really listening to the niggas that was there. I was listening to the niggas who was making names. So it's mm. always... The underground niggas until they got big enough, you feel me? Before I go to my next point, tell me if I'm wrong. I, I, I was arguing with my friend or whatever, right? I feel like, because niggas from New York don't really fuck with, like, again, like, they don't really only fuck with New York niggas. So my man was a big Max B fan. Right. Right? Like, he he had that shit on lock. And I feel like around 2000 and what, five, six, maybe, I don't know. It might have been, my, my time might be wrong, but. I was a big Boosie fan. I'm from Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. Right? So like, but he ain't know, he ain't know who the fuck Boosie was. But I feel like at a point, it was a, a lot of people outside of New York didn't know who Max B was. For I sure. feel like they were kind of similar in their lane. Like, not the music, but who they were, how yeah, special hey, people yeah, they were. The, yeah. Like, Max B was that nigga in yeah, New York. And I sure. feel like Boosie was that. I feel like if Max B would have had the same time that Boosie got, they would have got the same, like, if... If Max, like how Boosie did his five years, got out and got the love he got. If Max B would have had his five years and would have just got five years and got out, he would have. It would have been the same been thing. Bigger than low key, maybe. Probably because New York niggas just bigger. The artists. only reason why you could say it, it could have been bigger because French was probably doing his thing at that time and they okay. close. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like that's that's the that's the difference in that. But as far as 
them getting the love and shit like that, then it it, it probably it would have been it would have been the same. Yo, your music, right? I wanted to ask you this question. It's gonna be a funny question, bro. bro. <laughs> Don't mind me, dog. You know, uh, J Cole made the song uh, "Let Nas Down" because mm-hmm. I guess he was making like just commercial music, and he was like, he felt like he let Nas down. Right. You being so heavily influenced by Atlanta as well, do you ever think like, damn, bro, I let New York down? Hell no. Nah. No. Hell no. Nah. Mm. Cause, cause if you ask where I'm from, I'm gonna tell you. But from the music, I feel like. So you definitely can hear it, but I think it's it's more I, I it think it's more Atlanta influence. Yeah, hey, yeah. And hey, I feel yeah. like you can hear that. Hey, yeah. And for sure. A lot of times the new the let's let's do it for the people. The new age rappers, right? Like a lot of the old rap rappers hating, like, man, they kill hip hop. And I was wondering, like, do you feel like you're a part of that new new age uh the new age hip-hop. artists that kill hip hop? That's killing hip hop. <laughs> Niggas um, gonna, your fans gonna kill me for that. They be like, nigga, wild. Nah, man, cause 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 let me see that. Because I feel like um, you can look at me and say I'm a new age artist, but you gonna, if you listen to me, you're going to hear the influence. You're going to hear like, oh, this nigga new age, but he got some, he, been li- he knows some he got shit. Some shit like, yeah, yeah. The way he do, the way the schemes is and all that shit. You know yeah, go ahead. The way the schemes is and all that, you're going you gonna, to you gonna hear it like, oh, yeah, he knows something. So it's like, it ain't really... I just got to let a, a motherfucker just really just got to listen. And I'm country, so we ain't going to skip past that part. Like, if I I can make the same music if I sounded like I was from New York, if I still had my New York accent like okay. that, it's just not that. It's not there. I'm country. If you talk to my whole family, the rest of my family, besides my cousins sitting right here, they all... They sound like from New, New York? They New Yorkers. They, they got probably, all New hey, They yeah. probably hate your accent. And when I get that, they say the same. I don't give a fuck. You, man, you country. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Nigga. Nigga, what's up? Like, <laughs> all my cousins be saying that shit. Like that shit, man. We that's that's the man. Yo, Ben from the Bronx, how you how you like? Uh, cause I feel like even New York got some new age music in them. Yeah, how you liking the music now? Like this this new the school drill. music. The, the, I mean, that's basically what it is. Cause that's, yeah, cause yeah. that's what it is in New that's York. New York is is the drill music. Um, I fuck with shit. it cause it's like it's what they doing, like. It's some shit they 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 doing like that's what they doing and they they supporting each other with that shit even though it's fu- it's some fucked up support like you mm. feel me they saying what they doing and shit like that like but shit if you could do that shit and then quit like if you could make it out with that shit then make it out with that shit because it's like a nigga come on you you going you gonna wanna Go into another lane or some shit. You yeah. don't want to expand. You just got to be able to be around long enough to know that's what you want to do. It's crazy because I I do know this, right? As fucked up as it is, like, because I don't want to wish no violence on nobody, but, like, niggas in New York be going crazy on each other. <sighs> but if you want to be real, we go back, for real. It's always been that. It's always been that. 50, like, 50 Cent Prime it's Example has always been that. It's always been that. It just wasn't as broad and we ain't have Instagram. We ain't have right. social media. So it's like a nigga can't wake up in the morning and say some shit, and everybody know it. If a nigga wake up in the morning and say some shit, he got it on tape, and he got to put the tape out, and niggas got to buy the tape, yeah. and this, then the third. Yeah. Like, it got to go, it got to spread, like, the word. And now a nigga can wake up and be mad. You won't even know a nigga mad at you. You'll wake up in the morning and see a, see a post he done made about you, and everybody know he mad before you know. So right. it's like, shit. It's just social media, bro. Social media got shit burnt Let's out. Let's stay there. It's burnt out. That's not even that, right? Because I feel like I always call myself the old nigga, right? <laughs> you know how the old niggas always be like, man, it's this Instagram, this damn social media. Yeah. But on another side, I feel like social media is... I'm going to ask you, do you feel like social media is the new streets? Hell no. Nah. You don't think so? Mm-mm. I'm going to tell you why I think so. Because for me, I I, I don't I, I didn't think so at first, but somebody made some real valid point. I be, I used to say like you know real niggas ain't about to get on on online and post what they doing because right. that's the niggas I'm used to. Right. But these new age niggas will get online do that goofy shit and still be about that. But it's like it's 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 not the new streets because it's like it's not the new streets, bro. The reason why it is the way it is is because niggas is not really about that. Mm-hmm. It's like. They forcing themselves because it's a look to the world. Mm. You, you, if just like I said, if I go downstairs and I get slapped, and I slap a nigga back, whatever, boom. But 
But if I go downstairs and I get slapped, and I slap a nigga back, but a nigga only record me getting slapped, then I, only I got slapped. Mm. It don't matter how much I come out and say, yeah, I slapped his ass back. If I don't got that slap back on video, I didn't slap him back to the world. Mm. You feel me? So it's just a look. And now I know I slapped him back, but even though I said it, it's only video proof of him slapping me. But let's that's, that's, keep that same that same analogy, right? We, we Niggas just talking some shit. We just bullshit. So let's say that same analogy, right? And the opposite, kind of like the baby. Right. If you do get that slap back, right. and you keep getting that slap back on social media, niggas, they almost know, oh, nah, Cheryl, about that. We know right. how to fuck but with Right, but it's him. like, you're... How can I put this? Niggas know. Mm. Not even just with me. Like, bro, niggas know. That's why I say Instagram is not the new streets, because on Instagram, you can beef that shit up to however you want to. Mm. You can make this shit look like what it is. You can say you in a mansion and your ass in a bando. Mm. You can be the biggest gangster, post all the guns on Instagram. You can do this, then the third. But 85% of niggas are not like that. Mm. 85% of bitches are not like that. It's just because everybody else can see it. I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm. Niggas used to go fight in the bathroom at school, and it only used to be a couple niggas. Everybody used to be crowding in. But now it's like, shit, the fighter go around the school and... Niggas be walking around telling you, oh, you won or you lost this, that, and third. But now, that shit is going around the world. Mm. You don't know who retweeting this shit. You'll go to California. You'll get your ass beat in Atlanta on camera and go to California. And niggas is like, damn, that's that nigga that got beat up in Atlanta. Bro, I, I, bro that's the video, bro. That's that video. So it's just like, it's all about what everybody else thinks. So that's that's just what it is, bro. It's like, nobody want to be a bitch to nobody. Nobody want to look pussy to nobody. Nobody want to look like a hoe. So it's like, it's all a perception it's, Yo, it's all perception. Doesn't that make it more scary though? Because we Hell know that, yeah. right? So think about it. We know that. Let's go back to World Star era, right? Nobody want to get World Star, so niggas uh-huh. is on go times ten now. Because it's like I know, like if this shit get on camera, yeah, so I'm never let it, nobody play it with. Make me. it more scary, bro. Because now uh, a lot of people don't even know what they on go for. Mm. A lot of people used to just play defense. Now we got niggas that's really just outside playing offense, offense. all day. Yeah. Like it's niggas that's really just like, okay, we finna go do this the way we finna go do it. And I know because I used to be an offensive player. Mm. So it's like, I know I wasn't playing offense. When when I was playing offense, Instagram wasn't like that. Mm. It wasn't, it wasn't as, it wasn't as what it is now. You feel me? It was in the beginning stages. Nobody really, it was Facebook, but niggas wasn't really posting shit like that. Like we was, but it wasn't to the point where you getting fucked up for the shit now. It's like niggas posting their guns and, it is what it is. Niggas posting this. It is what it is. But now niggas posting shooting niggas. It's a difference when you post a gun, but now you posting you shooting niggas. Now you posting this. Now you posting that. So it's just like, bro, it's all a perception. Everybody just want to be able. I feel like I feel like a lot of niggas are scared. I feel like a lot of people scared. So it's mm. like on Instagram, say you got 100,000 followers on Instagram, and you really scary, you going to beef it up to Instagram because the word going to spread. Mm. Man, that nigga be posting guns. He he got a he got this, he got that. Or we don't even gotta say um guns. Man, he be in the gym every day. He lifting weights. This nigga big as hell. Da 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 da. Walking around with his head. But when he outside, he walking around with his head swole because that's what they saying in the comments. Man, I still I wouldn't even fight you if I was you. I, if I see you, man, I wouldn't even that's cause this is what they saying in the comments. Mm-hmm. But you gotta realize, you not gonna run into these people in the comments. Mm-hmm. You in the street. You running into niggas that, that's in the street. No, fact. They not on Instagram showing <laughs> how many weights they lift, nigga. They lifting these bitches. They, that's just what they doing. So it's like when, when it's the perception a nigga don't want to seem like this. So you 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 terrified. So you frighten it up. So maybe the word is spread that you are like that. So nobody tries you. Mm. You feel me? So it, that's just what it be, bro. So that's why it's more scary. That's why it's scarier because everybody's scared. That's just the bottom line. Like, nigga, everybody's scared. The nigga who's robbing and the nigga who's getting robbed. Mm, that's a the great shooter point. and the nigga who's getting shot. Damn. Everybody's scared. So it's like, shit, you don't know how to play it with nobody because everybody's scared. And one false move, you'll die. Mm, 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 mm. That's Fucked up. crazy. Like, that's some real shit. I be telling niggas all the time. Like, it be niggas that, that be about that life, that ain't about that life. They just think that a nigga, somebody else going to take For their sure. life. And that's sure. that's scary about the world, sure. though, bro. Like that's insane. shit fucked up, man. But 
I just learned that if you just mind your business and play your part, play your position. Because them the two things that get people fucked up the most. Not minding your business and not playing your position. Just because you see this person over here doing better than you don't mean mm. you can handle his position. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of niggas want what another nigga got, but you can't even handle what he going through to get to have this shit. Like, you feel me? You can't even handle the pressure that this nigga going through. You don't even know this nigga probably finna break. But he keeping strong because he know what he got to do, but you want his position. And, 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 and that shit just, that shit just that, bro. Like, nigga don't play that position. Nigga don't mind their business. Like, Nigga talk too much. They say niggas the new hoes, which is true. Like, but hoes is the the hoes too. Hoes you gotta realize hoes. hoes is still hoes. So just <laughs> no, like the hoes talking, niggas talking, everybody talking. So it's like shit. It's just it's it's worse, bro. It's like it's worse, bro. It's worse. Yo, that shit is crazy. So I'm just listening because I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use that for a clip. I'm just like, this nigga going crazy. I'm like, <laughs> hoes is still hoes, slam. Your hoes still hoes. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, bro. So it's it's a, from the old nigga, right? So. I, I told I wasn't. How old you? I'm 31. Oh damn. I wasn't. Nigga, gonna, he I, ain't I, that old. I said I wasn't, gonna, but I'm still like, but I'm, but like, I'm an old nigga because like I got. Nah, family. I feel you. You got I'm this. home nah, with I my feel family. You. I, I feel ain't you. outside. Like I used to be outside. I'm already right? knowing. You know what I'm saying? So like, so listen. I said I wasn't gonna be talking about this fucking song, but I'm listening to the song and me just being an old nigga. I'm like, God damn, this nigga is just disrespectful. Right. Like you, you ain't never look back on it. Like man, I was wild. Like, but I, man, you was but wild. it's like, I don't feel like that because I remember the context of. How I was making the song, but listening to it though. Yeah, listening to it, I probably, I still <laughs> don't feel still like that. Like, I feel like I probably be like, oh, I said bitch hella times in that song. That's all. That's the only thing I ever say. Like, man, I don't like that song. I said bitch too many times. Like, I said bitch like thirty times, like thirty plus times. That's the only reason why I don't really rock the song like that. Cause I be around my son, so it's like when he get the, you feel me? I don't want to have to. But that's what I'm talking. That's really what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like that's because it's how do we? How do you as an artist, right? And being like this trap, you know what I'm saying? Like, you rap about what you, what right. you live, right? How do you delegate that being a pops, though? Because it's like, I still want my, my, my son to go the good route, but it's like, right. I'm rapping about this, he gonna hear me. I feel like you just, I feel like with my son, he, man, I just keep it as honest as I possibly can with him. He five, and it's like, I used to talk to him thinking that he don't understand what I'm saying, mm. but he do. So it's like, all I gotta do is make sure I'm coming from an honest and genuine place when I differentiate the different things to mm. him. When I show him, like, okay, this is what I'm saying. This is what I used to do. This shit ended up bad for me, though. Mm. It's not, it, it, you, it ended up bad for 98% 98 of the people doing it. Mm. Like, when I tell them shit like that. Or, this this is a good route that a lot of people take. People took this good route, but daddy didn't take this route. I took this route, and it was a lot of it was a lot of problems with this route, but they say this route maybe it may be a little easier. Mm -hmm. Now you can take this route Daddy took, and I'll be here to help you with that, with any and everything. But I'm just letting you know what come with this route that I mm -hmm. took. You feel me? So it's just it's just the ways that you differentiate the shit to him. You just gotta be as I just be as honest as honest as possible. Like I think that's the benefit in this new age parent, yeah. right? Like because we are more honest without mm -hmm. like if you haven't. Conversation about sex, drugs, and like who? Like I remember back in the day, like niggas would would yeah, die back in the day, hear, man, hear back in the days, you'll never know a bill was doing nothing. Yeah, yeah like but now get we cut have out while you playing the game, you'll never know. Like you never what the hell going on? Facts. Now, like we but have now, it's like you telling them, like, hey, I can't pay the light bill this month. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gonna get cut off on the eleventh. So you know. on the tenth, had your phone charged up for real. Nah, it's, <laughs> he's had his phone. Nah, it's crazy because like I think that's the beauty in it though. Yeah, like, cause for I sure. feel like if our parents, like my per my mom's was honest as fuck with yeah, me. Yeah, mine's she, too. Like mine's she told too. me too fucking much, but for by the sure. grace of God, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I do believe that if we were more honest with our our kids, they would be on a more narrow. And you gotta point. allow, and not just kids, just people. Like you just gotta allow. For mm. them to make the decision. Mm. You're never gonna be able to direct nobody's decision. Go in front, go in front, go in front, go in front. Yeah, yeah, we'll cut that out. <laughs> Appreciate it though. <laughs> You're never gonna be able to direct nobody's decision. That's like telling your sister to break up with her boyfriend. Even though you know that's a toxic relationship, you feel me? Like Jeez. you ain't gonna be able to dictate nobody's decision. So it's like you gotta they gonna if you if you if you try to if you try to sugarcoat it or go too direct about it, they still gonna rebel. Mm. They still gonna rebel, so it's like the best thing you could do is tell them, like, "Hey, this is what's gonna happen. This is what I've seen. This is what I've experienced. 
I know for a fact that this is what comes with this going on. You feel me? And if they decide to take heed to it, then they do. Now that's one of the that's with an adult. As opposed to your child, you can give them the tools that they need. All it take is you being present. You feel mm-hmm. me? Cause that's you all they see. Your your kids, man, they they not gonna if if your kids moving around and doing other shit, that means you are not present enough. To let them know. But wait, what about this? I think this is the scary part about parenthood. And tell me what you think. I think it's scary that you can give your kid all the jewels and gems in the world, and at the end of the day, they still going to make their own decisions. Do you ever think about it like, damn, bro, I can be leading my son in the right decision, the right path, but at the end of the day, bro, he's going to make bro, the decision for him. I think Do you about ever? this shit every single oh, day. Oh, my God. That shit is like... And you want me to tell you the thought? I'm a straight man. What if my son gay? You feel me? So it's like that type of shit that play in a nigga mind. And it's like, not that I have a problem with gay men, mm-hmm. but it's like, this my son. Like, I want him to be like me. I want to be able to mm. do this, then the third take the script club, this, that, blah, 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 shit like that. So it's like, nigga, hey, yeah. But it's like, you got to love him regardless. It's just what it is, bro. They going to make mistakes. They going to do this, but you got to love him regardless. And you got to be there to let him know because... Once you walk out the door, the world cold and don't nobody really give a fuck about you. Mm, so mm-mm. I'm going to give a fuck about you no matter what because you know, I'm telling you, I know that the world don't give a fuck about you. Mm. You feel me? So it's, it's just... Ooh, new, yo, I just want to say thank you. Yo, this shit is powerful and I feel like I'm so glad you, when I say a person like you, like, I don't, I don't, I, I never heard you talk like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, like, nah. I'm I'm so glad that a guy like you can get up here and have these conversations because people, your audience need to see this. People only see the trail that like, you know, like, you feel me? Like, yeah, hey, yeah. outside trail. So like the fact that you can get up here, hopefully people take heed to it because yeah. isn't it, isn't it so, look at how beautiful growth is, bro. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, six, seven years ago, before you had your son, a nigga will ask you a question like, if your son was gay, would you, would you love him? Or would you, would you, would you still Nigga said some crazy shit. Fuck no. Niggas have some know. crazy shit. But it's like, but that's how you can tell what's going on in the world. Mm. That's how you can tell. All it is is the realest shit. People comment on shit that they've never been through. Mm. We go back to minding your business. Mm. So it's like, that's just like me. I got shot seven times, right? Mm-hmm. It was it was people in the house with me when I got shot. But I did everything myself. Everything. I didn't get robbed. Put it like that. That's what we gonna. That's how we gonna kill that. I didn't get robbed, but when people was coming to the hospital and seeing me and shit, they'll tell me like, "Ah, oh, bro, I would've did this if I was there, or I would've did that if I was there." But haven't been presented in the same situation, so I wouldn't know. That's just like a nigga. That's just like a, me just meeting a nigga that got a gun on him and he think he finna be with us. I don't even know if you gonna use that motherfucker. Mm. You got to be put in a situation. Like, I got to know. You got to have experience. You got to be put in a situation for me to even trust anything you're saying. That's just like you saying shit. You know what you should do? But, trail. But you should go be an astronaut, boy. I heard that shit easy as hell. <laughs> oh, but man. all you got to do is go to go to Nassau school and goddamn pull up to the door and tell these folk, let you in. But that That's shit crazy. easy as hell. My folks said they did it. But you ain't did it. <laughs> That's like, like nigga, how the hell are you gonna tell me to be an astronaut and we doing, nah, we that's doing real it? Shit. I, I, you know, it's crazy because one of my prayers is, uh, I, let's just, uh, oft, I pray, I say often, I pray I'm never put in a position where I'm, I have to prove my love to my family or For prove sure. that I'm a ha- Because, like, again, like you, nah, like you said, this is 100% true. I can say what I'm gonna do all the For time, sure. right? I just pray I'm never in that position. Because... Nobody wanna be in that position. That's why I said the nigga who's robbing is scared and the nigga who getting robbed scared. Mm-hmm. Because you, the robber, yeah, I got the gun on you, he but, eat, but I really don't want him. I really don't want this nigga to make a false move so I have to kill him. Mm. And the nigga who getting robbed, but I don't want this nigga to rob me, and I don't want to make a false move to, for him to kill me. So it's like we both thinking the same or shit. Or even kill him though, cause like for sure, that's a, a lot of people niggas talk this tough shit, but a lot of niggas even that right, not even being on the on the side of getting shot, even killing a nigga can fuck you up. A lot of niggas talk that shit, but like niggas don't understand. The trauma that come from killing somebody. You know what I'm saying? Listen, That's when you grow up, and I say grow up because a lot of niggas is grown, but they're not grown. Mm. When you grow up and you realize that this shit is gone in an instant Mm-mm-mm. and it's 
real people that depend on you. It's real fucking babies that look you in your eye when you come home and smile when they see you and they happy and shit like that. And people that you gotta provide for and shit like this. Man, when you when you the aunt, when you the man of the house, mm. when the man falls, so does everything mm. else. Mm-mm. So it's like shit, when you grow up and realize, like, bro, if I fall, everything else behind me gonna fall. Whether it's my mama, my girl, my kids, everything. All this shit falling too. Mm. So you start moving different, and that's just, bro, you just gotta realize, and a lot of niggas don't got shit to lose. A lot of niggas been taken care of, a lot of niggas been spoon fed. So a lot of niggas jump in the streets like it's easy. Mm. But if you in the streets, you're trying to get out this shit. Mm, like, mm, mm. it don't matter how deep in you is, it don't matter how gangster you is, it don't matter how many people you killed, and da 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 da. If you're doing anything that involves you risking it, you're trying to get out that shit. You're trying to, you're trying to catch you a play big enough to where nobody got to see your face ever again. Mm, mm. And that's just what it is. But a lot of people jumping in and doing this shit for a show. So I can show I got 100 pounds. So I can show I got 100,000. So I can show the girls what's going on so I can show the niggas that was hating on me what's going on so I can show this so I can show that everybody want to show something but nobody really got nothing to show mm. you feel me so shit just backwards bro it's just it's just it's all about how you, it's just all about who you around bro cuz a lot of people don't got real people around to tell them that they fucking up and a lot of people got the money mm. so niggas with that don't got the money that's around ain't going to want to tell this nigga like hey bro you doing that shit was lame, or I don't really like how you did that, or bro, you shouldn't have did that. That shit wasn't really right. And let's talk about. Or, I ain't fucking with you because you did that. But by time, that's the thing, right? I ain't fucking with you. That's the that's the biggest way. That's the. I'm the, not fucking with you the because you way did that. To hold a nigga accountable, because by time a nigga get the money, right? You can't really tell that nigga nothing. Like you could tell, but it was lame. You get what I'm saying? But a nigga gonna understand when he start losing his real ones. Nah, flip when he it. gotta go, sl- flip go to sleep. It. By flip it. it though. Go ahead. You the one get the money. Mm. Now, now, now you got You also gotta hold people accountable for the shit that they doing. Mm. But you, these the same people that struggle with you though. These the same people. But now that you done got the money, you gotta hold them accountable, and they don't want to be held accountable. Mm. But this shit that they doing will fuck you up too. Worse than it's gonna fuck them up. That's a fact. Damn. You feel me? That's a so fact. So it's like, okay, they got shit to lose, but I got more shit to lose. I got shit that I've built that I can lose. Mm. They just here with me. That's just like you the star at you the star, and you walk in with some niggas, and they walk in and beat niggas up. That's on you. Yeah, for sure. Hey man, J Hill folks just came here. They don't give a fuck what these niggas did. They, they don't care what these niggas' names is. Hey, J Hill folk just walked in and did this shit. Don't let J Hill in no more. Mm. J Hill can't even come in by himself no more. Don't even let him in. That's a fact. It just, it's that, bro. So it's like, when it, it's, it's fucked up because it's like, it's survivor's remorse. You want to make sure everybody cool, but it's like, bro, you got to make sure that you don't, you hold people accountable for shit because people will feel like you don't got to hold them accountable for shit because you got the money. Mm. You can't say this to me because you got the money. Like, bro, you can't say that to me. You looking down on me now because you saying this shit. You got more money than me. You got more than what I got. So if I come out and say, if I say, if you you say, if you was to say, goddamn, man, goddamn, trail, you was late, bro. Goddamn, this shit, you feel me? You was late, bro. You really supposed to goddamn be on point. And I feel away. This your business. Mm. Yeah, you can't really. You I don't know what the hell you had a going man on. Man takes accountability for. Come on, man. I don't know what the hell you had going on after this, before this. It could have been somewhere wrong with your kids. You could have been just setting this shit up real fast, and then we finna get up out of here. You gotta go to the hospital or anything. I don't know what's going on, mm-hmm. but I snap. Now we into it because your shit deep. What you gotta do after this? Mm. It's deeper than just a nigga just trying to leave. You feel me? It's just like, bro, you just you just gotta hold you gotta hold people accountable for some shit they do and the people. People around you will feel like if the person with money hold me accountable, he's belittling me because he has more money, or he's treating me like a do boy, or he's doing this when it's really like, nigga, I done made the money. Mm. So it's like, I'm trying to keep you from not being able to make money. Mm. I'm trying to get you to make the money, but the shit that you're doing is not gonna get you no money. And I'm the one that's helping you, so I'm 
losing because you want to lose. Mm. Like, bro, you want to lose. I'm trying to help you win. Cousin, you want to lose. Sister, you want to lose. Mom, whatever, whoever the fuck it is. Like, it don't matter who it is. Bro, you want to lose. But I'm losing as well. Like, when you draw the line to stop losing. Mm. When you got to tell the closest people to you, like, hey, bro, I'm tired of fucking losing. I don't want to lose no more. I'm only losing because of you. Mm. What what you do then? You you look like a fuck nigga because you just got some money and not everybody want to, um, damn, bro, you did this. Or, bro, you left me here. Or I was with you in this, then the third. But, bro, you don't understand. Shit be detrimental in hella ways. This nigga is. This shit won't hit right now, but this shit gonna hit five years from now when I reach what I'm trying to fucking reach and this shit come back on me and open up like... <clears throat> Man, he made this mistake five years ago. And it's fucking what I got going on, though. And this this is when everything changed. This Come is on, when the dream came true. Come on, bro. And now I can't even bask in my fucking bit like of my said, glory because of the, for the my next son, one. I'm taking whatever come with it. So, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking up what I got going on to please nobody, not let even my mama. This, then. I'm going to pause on this. How bad does it hurt when you got to let those... That shit hurt worse than anything. Mm. That shit hurt. That shit, don't think, I'm not no motherfucking robot. That shit hurt, twin, but it's like, shit, you got to do what the fuck you got to do. Like, everybody looking out for self. I'm not looking out for self. If I cut you off, nigga, I'm cutting you off my mama, my sister, my son, my cousins, my brothers, every fucking body I take care of, nigga. Mm. Everybody, it ain't just me. Mm. I can't say it's just me because I don't take care of just me. And I'm the breadwinner in the family. So if I fall, all this little shit that I got set up with my family going to fall as well, and they got to go back to square one because I'm the one taking care of everything for right now. You feel me? I'm taking care that. of everything. I can't. I'm not going to risk it. Mm. I'm not. I don't even drive no more, nigga, because I'm a high-speed king. I don't even go on no high-speed. I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the back of the truck. I'm not even driving no more. For what? I don't even want to drive no more. I'd rather spend the money to do this as opposed to the police getting behind me and me taking the fuck off. You feel me? Man, come on, bro. I got shit to lose. My son be with me almost every day, bro. It's a lot of niggas that don't see their kids. It's a lot of niggas that don't take care of their children, so they don't know what the mama got to go through taking care of their motherfucking kid. It's a lot of niggas that don't feel that shit, bro. I feel that shit. I ain't going. I can't go. It is what it is. A nigga can feel how you want to feel about me, but get what? My son love me. Mm. I'm so, bro. God is crazy, bro. Like, I, it's crazy. Like, again, somebody put me on with you, right? So, sure. and I'm just just me doing my research. I've literally never seen an interview like this with you. Hell ever. nah. I'm so a lot glad of I was able to get People this. don't want to talk about the real. They want to talk about what they think people want to hear. Like, bro, like you said, bro, we gotta, we gotta, we got a job to do with these platforms, no matter mm. how big, how small. And they got a job to do. The job is to get the right message out to motherfuckers, cause the message right now flip. And you did that. You For did sure. that. And I, that, bro. I'm. I'm gonna give you a motherfucker. Can we get, man? Get some love, my man. Are you listen. Nah, for real. Like, like, like. It's crazy, cause like God just. I'm just. I'm big believing God. So like, it's it's a blessing that I was able to get you in this moment, this very moment that yeah, you're yeah, in. Yeah, like, cause you the moment, me? the moment, serious. Like, this shit is real, yo. Drop the album in two days. Like, let niggas know again. Let niggas sure. know. Happy Halloween 5. That shit coming 1031. The day of. Nigga, you gonna drop midnight on the 30th. You'll have that shit then. Mm, you got any, like, big features on there? Nope. Just big C4. Yeah. Big trail. Yo, uh, let niggas know how to follow you and all that, man, and where to get the shit and all that. Man, you can follow me, CEO trail underscore on everything. You might gotta spell that out for him. CEO T-R-A-Y-L-E, bitch. My name is not Trey Lay. It's Trail. It's not Trey Lee. Bitch. It's not none of that. It's Trail. CEO Trail. Call me Trail. Call me back though. Call me C4, whatever. Just don't call me Trey Lee. Please. Underscore. And Yo. the music everywhere. Shit all over the place. You probably see Song Crown the ad. Mm. For sure. This shit was hard. I appreciate it. Yeah, this shit was hard. Fuck y'all niggas. This shit was hard. CEO, C4, CEO Trail, J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast is a wrap. We We out. That shit was great. That shit was hard.